and in this tutorial I will show you how I go from my usual ginger haired self to this fabulous blonde version. Now as some of you may know I am an actress and a lot of actors will do other work in between regular gigs so a lot of us will actually do what's called stand-in work and stand-ins basically are the actors who stand in the place of the lead actors while the crew is setting up the shot, doing the lighting, figuring out camera angles, and all that sort of menial utilitarian stuff while the actual celebrities go sit in their trailers and wait for them to be done. In order to do this, you have to be the same height, general size as the actor and have the same hair color as them. So it comes in handy to change up your hair color with wigs and I will show you how I do that in this video. If you wanna see more tutorials like this one, let me know in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell next to it so you get updates when I post new videos. Follow me on social media at Katrina Ossity. Check out my podcast at mdxpods.com. And if you enjoy this video, please click the like button. It really helps my videos get seen. The wig I'm using is called the Carry. It's from the La Vivid collection from Uniwigs. It comes with some combs and some wig caps. For this one, I put on this nude colored wig cap and put it back a little bit past my hairline. And this is what this wig looks like. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is one of the more affordable wigs, but it does have a lace front and the cap is extremely comfortable. It's a stretchy cap and it also has these adjustable straps in the back that can Velcro into place. So I began by trimming the lace around the front of the hairline. I did it very close to the hairline, maybe just a couple millimeters away from the hairs. I trimmed all the way across the front and then I adjusted those Velcro straps in the back and made sure that it fit my head comfortably. Once I was happy with the sizing, I put my concealer onto the lace front of the wig. Since this is a synthetic wig, I can't bleach the knots, so this just blends those knots into my scalp color. I used my Got To Be Glued, this is the black tube, and I put that all along my hairline where I wanted to stick down that lace front, and I let this just sit on my skin for about five minutes until it got nice and tacky. And I did a very thin coating of this, you don't need a lot of this to get the wig to stick properly. Once I had that in place, I put the wig back on and I gently pressed that lace down into the glue until it stuck comfortably. And then once I had that in place, I was ready to put on my makeup. I started with my 24K Gold Serum and I massaged this into my skin, making sure not to get that on that line where I had the glue or the wig. After that, I used my Volition Prismatic Luminizing Shield. This is an SPF 50 for your face and I love the finish of this under makeup. Then I used my YSL All Hours Concealer and I used quite a bit of this for this this look I wanted to go a little bit lighter than I usually do in the center of my face just to add a little bit more dimension and make sure this blonde wasn't completely washing me out and making my features look flat. I sealed that in with a mineral powder, then I used my Han Skincare Cosmetics Bronzer. I went all along my hairline and under my cheekbones, as well as under my chin and a little bit all over my face just to warm it up a tiny bit. I used my Coralista Blush from Benefit, and after that I used my Brow Bar to Go by Gerard Cosmetics. For this I used mostly the lighter shade of the two shades in the Blonde to Light Brown palette, just to make sure I didn't go too dark since this is quite a bit lighter than my red hair. After that, I used my Biker Babe palette from Velvet 59. I dipped into this darkest shade first, and I worked that into the lash line just to make sure I didn't have any gaps. Then I dipped into this light champagne peachy shade with my fingertips, put that all over the lid. I dipped into this shimmery pearlescent white and put that on the inner corners of my eyes, as well as a little bit on the centers of my eyelids to add a little bit more dimension. I used that as the highlighter underneath my brows as well. Then I dipped into this copper champagne color and worked that into the outer V and the crease of my eyes, gently building up that color until I was happy with the depth of that. Then I brought it underneath my eyes, just on the outer half of my lower eyelids, and worked that in with the fluffy brush. 
Then I dip back into that dark color on a flat angled brush, this time wetting the brush and using that as my eyeliner. I really like how this looks because it's not as deep as a regular black eyeliner, but you can still wing it out gently using that brush. I brought that along my lower lash line as well just to deepen that up. And then after that I curled my lashes and I was ready for mascara. I used this Free Soul Mascara from Kiko Milano and this is great because it's not dark brown, it's actually a burgundy mascara which is great for emphasizing green eyes and bringing out green tones in any other color eyes. After that, I used my Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops on my cheekbones and my nose, as well as my Cupid's Bow for a nice shimmery highlight. And I finished that off with my Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper and brightened up my eyes with a nude liner on that waterline just to wake everything up a little bit. And that is the finished look for makeup. I brushed out the wig just to make sure I didn't have any tangles in it. And then I went into that using my Maybelline Mineral Powder on a large fluffy brush. And this is just to tone down any excessive shine to make sure it doesn't mess with the lighting on set. And I just pinned back a couple little sections to keep those bangs out of my face. And that is the finished look. This is how I went to set for standing in for a blonde actress and I didn't have to permanently change my hair color. So that's all there is to it and this is what I look like as a blonde. I know it's actually really different from me with red hair. It's funny because when I look back at pictures of myself as a blonde it doesn't look like me and looking in the mirror like this doesn't feel like me. So it's always a little bit of fun to wear a wig for a day and just look completely different. Hair color can change your look so drastically and wigs are just really fun in general. If you want to see more videos like this one, let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. It really helps my videos get seen.